Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. My name's Ran, and per his agreement with all the people watching in the beginning, uh, the groom of Reanimator said he would do a face reveal at 100 subscribers, so here you go. Hello. So, kind of part one of a two-part or more. Promise. We'll see how it goes, promise. Uh, we wanted to do a review for you guys, and it was based on his choice, which... Favorite movie. Was Crywolf. Love it. So... Crywolf, released in 2005, is a suspense slasher hybrid that revolves around a preparatory school named Westlake and a group of privileged teens who invent a game to play because they're bored. This game escalates into an email which involves a local tragedy of a girl being killed and they end up inventing a serial killer based on their game and the local tragedy. However, when the email killings start becoming real, it's hard to tell between what's the truth and what's a lie. So, oh, what were your likes in this movie? I love this movie, not only because it stars Bon Jovi, who I love. <laughs> Hashtag, love you Bon Jovi. It also, I like the suspense of it. It kept me off guard the entire time. When I first watched this, I watched it in 2006. I think when it came out on DVD, I bought it, watched it, loved it, thought that it was a lot of twists and turns and... You know, like the way, I love the way it ends. No spoilers, but watch the movie. It it will keep you off guard the whole time. Um, the other thing I liked about it, it isn't a traditional slasher movie. It isn't a traditional horror movie. It's weird. It's eclectic. It's different. And that's what I like about it. All right. Um, what did you like about it? I like that Jared Padalecki was in it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm... We're both really big Supernatural fans, no, this and um, that was nice. And he did Google it while we were rewatching it. That what it it was Two during days. the the first Two days. season. The uh, this movie premiered on September fifteenth, two thousand five. <laughs> on September thirteenth, two thousand five, the f pilot episode of Supernatural. So that I I really like Jared Padalecki. I know. And I kept it from her until I actually made her watch the movie, which we just did. We just watched it. And I'm so happy now. I have a special place for this. All right. So what I will were your dislikes? I will start dislikes because you probably have a million of them. Okay. Um, Shoot. I, I mean, the, pra the practical effects were garbage. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I will definitely say that. The practical effects were not believable. And it kind of ties in with the movie and it kind of doesn't. Um, you picked one of the big big twists very early in the movie as i did when i first saw it which we kind of do though well i mean but it's obvious once you see something so many times especially in like a teenage geared yeah <laughs> horror movie you're like they're like hey really, people bro. this person's important hey that's why they he's keep on the showing camera. him he's gotta mean <laughs> something what what else did you dislike Oh, it's so hard for me to dislike anything. That there were no movie. premiere Bon Jovi songs in it. That did upset me. How do you have Bon Jovi, the songbird of my generation, in a movie and don't have any of his songs? Which one of his songs would have been appropriate for this movie? Oh, which one did you sing during the movie? Which Living one didn't on a I prayer. sing? <laughs> <laughs> Living on a Prayer. Okay. You sung it at the perfect time for it. Uh, or inappropriate time. Well, I said per I said perfect. It was totally not appropriate, but yeah. it was hilarious. Um, did you have any other dislikes? Um, it it was two thousand five, mm -hmm. so that's what you kind of have to re remember here. But it and I don't know if this was done on purpose, but the characters were so your stereotypical. That's, this yeah. is this is the guy with the piercings. This is the new kid. This is the jock. This is the whore. This is the, you know, smart kid. This is the, you know, it kind of everybody's role was obvious, mm -hmm. you know, and it was kind of like, um, you know, your traditional, 
new kid in school because he was bad at the previous school and blah, 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 blah. Did they ever really touch upon why he was bad at the previous school? But they just kept mentioning it. They like, never... You fucked up in the last place, but no, we're not going to really no, go no, no. into the it. No, no, no. The one scene, um, and this doesn't kind of give anything really away, but they did explain that he took the fall for a girl at the previous school. I totally missed that part. Yeah. Um, what did I dislike about this movie? It's going to be a minute. So I agree that the practical effects were garbage, Ugh. even though they were kind of, it was, it was shot differently, but they still looked like garbage. And they kept referencing, uh, the one girl could make fake blood cause she found a recipe on <laughs> the was... internet. But like, you're going to reference that and then have shitty effects. The other Isn't thing it? was they used the same scene multiple times like the oh, still, yeah. the still frame i didn't like that it was cheap it was because like it's... oh well we already blew our load on <laughs> these effects so on... we're gonna keep using these effects over and over again just like different angles of them and stills we spent all of our money on jared padalecki and john and john Lundo. worth it worth every penny so... You know, so we're just going to throw together this horse shit. Oh my god, that one scene where Jared Padalecki, he's supposed to be from Texas, and he like, <laughs> really forces this y'all out that His... was just like, oh girl, don't even try. That was so bad. I just want like squinty, <laughs> like pensive Jared Padalecki. His crappy, because te- he's supposed to be from Texas. He's like the, the jock transfer star of all the sports teams. And he's like, no part. He's like, I swear on the Lone Star State. I'm like, nobody Not says convincing. that. No. Nobody in Texas says that. Deep in the heart of Texas. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. No. Uh. I also, as as a hairdresser, cringed oh. at every haircut. You made so many comments about it, her haircut, the redhead, the girl, the redhead. What was her name? Dodger. She was yeah. one of the reindeer that pulled Santa's sleigh. Um, had the worst haircut. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. That starts here and just keeps angling all the way back to a point. Don't ever come back, please. It looked like her hair was like the Darth Vader helmet that goes on at the end of it. It looked like someone was giving her a bowl cut, but they were like, let's make it edgy. I hated it. I, uh... How they, would you rate this movie? They gave her a bowl cut, but dropped the bowl yeah. when they went back. Oh, I just cut down. So how would you rate this movie? I give this movie a four out of five because I love... It's not my perfect movie. Not by any means. Mm-hmm. But I really enjoyed this movie when it came out in, initially. And I really enjoyed this movie when we just rewatched it. And we bought it at Best Buy for like five bucks. Um, which is a bargain. I give it maybe. I really didn't enjoy it. At I know all. you didn't. You were. It was over a there chore to watch. It. I give it maybe like a one point five out of four. All right, it's not a one. Or no, I'm sorry, out of five. Oh, I made it worse. One point five out of five. I thought that was but I mean, it's just not my bag. It's not what I'm into, and you're definitely not into the things that I really like to watch, which is fine. Oh, I totally took you out of your comfort zone when it when it comes to movies. That's so why I wanted to do this movie. Meh. So, meh. But he likes it. <laughs> and we Love also it. found it, we found it on Best Buy in a physical format DVD. It's also available on Amazon Prime Video Streaming and for rent I, and buy. And is iTunes. It, is it streaming iTunes. for free or is it just a rent or no, buy option? No, it's uh, rent or buy in HD on, um, on Amazon Prime Video and buy only on iTunes. All right. So... Those are our thoughts. Have you seen Cry Wolf? What did you think about Cry Wolf? Without giving too much away in the comments, leave us your opinion down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Uh, Like the video if you did like the video. Like the video if you didn't like the video. It helps us out either way. Uh, Hit the bell for all notifications of my uploads. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter at Reanimator. And... You can find me on twitch.tv slash repeat underscore five, the number five, percent. So follow me on Twitch. I play a lot of video games. I know a couple people already from your channel. Follow me. Love you guys. Thank you so much. So close to being Twitch partner. And also thank you so much again for getting me over 100 subscribers and forcing this dude to (sighs) uphold what he promised. Yeah. Yeah, Chase. Thanks. All right. You know who you are. <laughs> Anyways. And wait, uh, a note about the 100 subscribers. My best friend in the whole world 
sat and waited, waited, Justin, I hate you for this, waited, waited for her to hit 99 subscribers, like watched her channel every day. And when it hit 99, he subscribed and then sends me a text and goes, I'm number 100. Can't wait to see you. So thanks, buddy. Thanks, Justin. All Came right. Back. So thank you for all the support. And I love you guys. And I will hopefully continue to watch other movies. But check out this movie if you're interested. And thank S you so much. Stay tuned. I'll be on a live stream, too. <laughs> you never know where I'll pop up. Wink, wink.